This one is the graph of r equals 4 cosine theta. So it's converted as follows. Multiply both sides by r. That's allowed this way. So it's going to give you r squared is equal to 4. I usually put the r by the cosine. So it's going to be r cosine theta. And then here, this is x. And this quantity, the r squared, is always x squared plus y squared. So we have x squared plus y squared equals 4 times x. Once this is in place, gather everything on one side. So it's x squared minus 4x plus y squared is equal to 0. And from there, complete the square on this part. Leave the y squared part as it is. Leave that unchanged. But now do the squaring here. So it's going to be the way I do it is I take the variable parentheses. I take half of the coefficient, which is minus 2. I square it. And always you have to compensate by taking whatever this is and subtracting its square off this way. So minus the negative 2 squared plus the y squared is equal to 0. So it's x minus 2 quantity squared plus 4 here, but then this is a negative here, so the whole thing ends up being like this, minus a positive 4 if you like. Anyway, plus y squared is equal to 0. Now move everything to the other side, specifically move this to this side. So it's x minus 2 squared plus y squared is equal to 4. Now what we have is x minus 2 squared plus y squared equals 2 squared. This here is the radius of a circle. This number that represents the horizontal shift of the circle. So now let's make a quick graph. Set of axes as usual. So x, y, okay, draw no arrows. Because x here is equal to 2, you got to count 1 and then 2 units this way. Because y is just y squared, that means it's not shifted vertically. So the center point, in other words, the center of the circle would be the point that looks like this. You take the 2 from here without the negative, just the positive 2, and you take the 0 from here. The y squared term, if you have trouble seeing why there's a 0, you can write this as x minus 2 squared plus y minus 0 squared equals 2 squared. That's a fuller form because you see then this is like the x coordinate of the center. This is the y coordinate of the center, and this here is the radius. Sometimes those additional details are really important to help you see. Anyway, so our center is 2 comma 0, and then our radius, again, the radius is this 2 right here. So to make a picture, you begin at the center, and you're going to count 2 units as follows from the center. So like 2 units up to 4, and then also 2 units in the vertical direction. And then two units going back to here, and then two units down in this direction, like that, about. So this here would be negative 2, that would be positive 2, right? This is x equals 0 right here, and this is x equals positive 4. And then just connect these pretty much with like a circle to the best of your ability gets the idea across. And sometimes you're asked to label points, so like that would be the point, point 4 comma 0. This is two units above the x-axis, so it's going to be the point, in other words, 2 comma 2. That, this point, this is x equals 0, y equals 0, so to label it, you would say 0 comma 0. And this is 2 units below the x-axis, so this point right here you would label as 2 and then negative 2.